to video electrical youtube channel let us conduct experiment number 8 open and short circuit test of a simple circuit last experiment of your basic electrical engineering laboratory see here open they mentioned just you assume uh, there is a switch present and a lamp will be there in between there is a wire if you just cut down the wire what happens lamp will not be going right because that is open so that means uh, open circuit uh, occur next short circuit uh, if suppose phase and neutral wire touch each other across lamp what happens lamp will get burn out otherwise uh, best example if you do mistakes in the experimental conduction so uh, definitely equipment will damage otherwise you will get shock right that is short circuit let's start the experiment aim is a uh, study of open and short circuit test of a simple circuit this one is a simple circuit and apparatus uh, based on the circuit diagram you make a apparatus requirement table see here only rps one switch and then lamp is required next circuit diagram see here open circuit supply have given by using rps and uh, switch is open see here one switch will be there and lamp is connected if it is a uh, switch is open what happens lamp will not be glowing current will not be flowing from here to here so lamp will be off condition next uh, short circuit test uh, see here uh, there is a rps supply and switch is closed so that time uh, lamp will be glowing condition if you take one small wire or a thin wire if you connect uh, these two terminals what happens uh, short circuit occurs current will be flowing uh, shortest path like this so definitely lamp will get burn out uh, or lamp will be off condition most of the cases lamp will get burn out based on the circuit diagram we will make a tableau column see here voltage we applied uh, three volts and uh, this one is open condition current will not be flowing from here to here lamp will not be glowing so current is zero so lamp also off condition next there is a short circuit uh, condition see here voltage becomes uh, less if you short these two terminal it reduces to zero or 0.01 something and uh, current will be more see here short circuit occurs more current is flowing through the lamp 2 amps so lamp will be off condition or burn out okay dead short circuit okay this one as you can see the diagram see here closed circuit electrons will be flowing from battery to lamp so lamp will be glowing right normal working condition open circuit uh, lamp will not be glowing because open circuit occurs there is no continuity from battery to this lamp next short circuit shorted terminal here lamp will not be glowing because uh, current will be flowing uh, shortest path right uh, here to here so lamp will get uh, burn out or uh, off condition right next procedure part before conducting the experiment everything must be off position i mean uh, supply must be off make the connection as per the circuit diagram vary the voltage till 2 volts and open the spst switch note down the voltage and current value for open circuit test and repeat the same for a short circuit by using thin wire you short the terminals of a lamp and uh, note down the readings like current and voltage voltage will be reducing to 0.01 or 0. Point something and the current will be more and switch off the power supply remove the connection result open and short circuit test conducted and studied as you can see the picture best example for a short circuit finally what you learned from this experiment if suppose open circuit occurs if you switch on the power supply lamp will not be glowing if suppose a short circuit occurs in our home what happens mcb will get trip off or fuse will get melt out right so at what time it will get trip off when current reaches some limit if suppose short circuit occurs automatically mcb will get trip off right because of current welcome to basic electrical laboratory let us conduct eighth experiment last experiment study of open circuit test and short circuit test of simple circuit see here only three components we used one is rps one switch and one lamp simple one right see i'll be connecting based on the circuit diagram rps is this one and one switch and one lamp will be there here the led lamp uh, i'm using here rps uh, positive to switch uh, one terminal see here switch one terminal and uh, switch another terminal to see the circuit diagram switch another terminal to lamp right see here i connected one lamp here so switch another terminal to one lamp and uh, lamp another terminal to i mean lamp uh, Uh, negative to this rps uh, negative right so let's uh, take down the readings right so switch on the power supply of rps and uh, vary the voltage uh, till 2 volts or 3 volts because uh, th this lamp uh, capacity is uh, 3.7 volts or uh, 2 to 4 volts right So I'll be giving a two point one volts. See here, this one is an open circuit test. Switch is open, right? 
So lamp will not be glowing. It's a normal one. Everybody knows, right? Uh, switch is open in the sense that electrons will move, uh, will not move from here to here. That is open, infinite resistance. So lamp will not be glowing, right? That is open circuit test. You have to take the readings. If suppose uh, if I give uh, three volts, see here serial number one, supply is three volts, and then current is zero. Half condition, lamp will not be glowing, right? It's a simple uh, experiment. So that is open circuit test, right? Next we'll conduct closed circuit, right? right. But closed circuit is not there in our syllabus. But I'll conduct a closed circuit. See here, I have, I have given two point of notes. Just I'll close this, uh, this uh, switch. What happens? Lamp will be glowing, right? See here, lamp will be glowing. This one is closed circuit. Uh, continuity will be there. It's a normal working condition. So circuit is, uh, I mean, lamp will be glowing, right? That is a closed circuit, but uh, that is not in our syllabus. Next we'll conduct short circuit. What I will do? I will connect one uh, uh, switch across uh, this lamp. See here, I will be taking uh, two wires and then I will be connecting one uh, uh, switch. Let us start a short circuit test. See here, there is a RPS present and then this switch is closed. So I have not connected this switch. This switch uh, I am going to use here because uh, to short the lamp uh, terminals. See here, if suppose uh, this switch is closed, this switch, okay, this switch is closed, what happens? Lamp will be glowing because this one is a Continuous, continuity will be there, closed circuit, right? So, see here, lamp will be glowing. See, this one is a closed circuit, right? What I will do? I will connect one switch across uh, this lamp, right? So, I will just connect uh, here uh, across the lamp. This one is a switch, SPST. And uh, here also, I will connect. See here, switch are not closed uh, till because lamp is glowing, this one is a closed circuit, right? If I close this uh, switch, what happens? Uh, lamp will not be glowing and then it will uh, uh, short circuit or it will burn out or it will, will be off condition, right? Because uh, current uh, flowing uh, shortest path, right? So if it is a short terminal, this one, what happens? Current will be flowing here to here. Current needs shortest path, right? So it will uh, flow like this. So just I will uh, close the switch, this one, this switch, okay? Close the switch. So, observe the lamp condition. See, lamp will not be glowing and then uh, voltage reduces to zero, current increases 0 0.08. Right? So, this one is uh, voltage uh, zero, 0 voltage, current uh, 0 0.08 amps. So, lamp will be off condition. So, by conducting this uh, experiment uh, in the open circuit test, uh, lamp will not be glowing and then current will be zero. In the short circuit test, uh, current will be there, but the uh, voltage uh, becomes zero, right? See the um, readings also. Voltage zero in the short circuit and the current will be there, 0 0.08 amps, right?